Here's the formula, log base b of x equals log base c of x over log base c of b. So what this means is you can pick a new base, base c, okay, and what you want to remember is, and it's easy to remember, that x goes in the numerator, the b goes in the denominator. I always think the b is a little bit lower, so that's how you can remember it goes in the denominator. The x is a little bit higher, it goes in the numerator. I'll show you some examples. Say, for example, you have log base 2 of 10. Okay, so we could write this as log base 10, okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to put the 10 in the numerator, we're going to put the 2 in the denominator, we're going to do log base 10 of 10 divided by log base 10 of 2. Now, don't get confused, this is not the same thing as log base 10 of 5. You can't just divide these and combine them into one log. You have to do these separately. Log base 10 of 10 divided by log base 10 of 2. Or, another option is you could use natural log. So you could do natural log of 10 over natural log of 2. Okay, these are all going to be equal to each other. It's just you're changing the base. I'll show you one more example. Uh, let's say you had log base 3 of 7. So what do we do? We do log base 10 of 7 over log base 10 of 3. 7 goes in the numerator, the 3 goes in the denominator, or, or natural log of 7 over natural log of 3. Exact same answer, it's just that some calculators don't have the capacity to change the base, they just are restricted to natural log and log base 10. So if you have a calculator like this, it's a quick way to figure out uh, approximately, when you do this on your calculator, you can round it uh, to get an approximate answer of what, what this represents. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.